So today I am going to discuss the first problem of at quarter regular contest 138 which is larger score. So uh, we are given an array A of length n. Now the score of the array A is the sum of the first key integers k is also given. And uh, uh, we can swap any ad two adjacent elements of A and uh, we have to like increase the score of the array. Okay. So uh, let me write it uh, like let's say this example 2 1 1 2. So, 4, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. So uh, k is equals to 2. So score of the array is sum of these two elements, which is 3. So now to increase the score of the array, we can replace, uh, we can swap these two and then swap these two. So the array will now become what? Uh, 2. Uh, sorry. Uh, so first I will swap uh, these two. So now the array will become what? 2, 1, 1, 2. Same. Uh, no, no. So first I will swap these two, one and two. So the array will become two, one, two, one. Then I will again swap these two. So the array will become what? Two, two, one, one. And the score of the array is what? Four. So we have successfully increased the score of the array. So our required number of operation is this one plus one, which is two. So now uh, let's figure out what is our uh, main goal. So let's say uh, so when the answer is impossible, let's say try to figure out. So if the uh, let's say if uh, every element in the first k element of the array is greater than all the elements, greater than equals to all the elements in the latter half of the array. Okay. So let's say this is three, two, uh, two, one. Okay. So k equals to three and equals to six. So six, three. Now the first. Uh, like first half of the array or first k elements of the array is greater than the last k uh, last n minus k elements of the array so we can't replace any of these three to any of these three so i think you have already figured out that we have to replace any of this element uh, to any of this element that's the main goal now uh, we can't uh, we will not replace two elements we will only replace uh, one element because if we only replace one element with another element then our score will increase let's say uh, from the first of the of the array we replace a with uh, another element b from the second of the half of the array where obviously a will be greater than b if the answer is impossible okay so the score will increase by s plus a minus b so at, as a is greater than b so this will be a minus b always be greater than zero so our score will increase by at least one so it is always obvious that we will replace any of the any of the first k elements of the array to any of the in my last n minus k elements of the array. So let's say the index of the first uh, half of the array, any element of the first half of the array is i. Let's say take this. So we are replacing this one with this two. So index of this is two if we use one based indexing, and index of this is four. So the minimum number of swaps required is four minus two which is equals to 2. So what we have to figure out? So let's uh, jump to our conclusion. So uh, we have to figure out is that we will take any uh, any element, let's say any index i from top of uh, top k elements of the array, first k elements. So 0 less than equal to i less than k if I use 0 based indexing. And I have to take another element j from the latter half of the array. So k less than equal to j less than n. Now our answer will be minimum of this j minus i where a i is obviously less than a j. Okay, I think uh, this is this is b and this is a. Okay. B, b, is, b is in the first k elements and a is in the latter half. Okay, so I have to figure out the uh, maximum difference, uh, minimum difference between this j minus i. So uh, in a way, we have to figure out uh, for every element in the first k element, what is the nearest, greatest, greater element in the latter n minus k elements so what we have to figure out for every element in the first k elements so if we, for every element in the first k elements we have to figure out what is the nearest greater element in the last n minus k elements okay so let us take a, one example let's say uh, 1 3 2 and 4 and uh, k is equals to 2 here okay so now uh, we have to figure out for one. Let's say this uh, this is the first k elements and this is the next k elements. 
so now you have to figure out for one which is the nearest greater element in the uh, last two elements which the index of this will be 3 and for 3 which is the nearest greater element in the last two elements it is 4 okay so we have to figure out this and if we subtract uh, our answer will be 1 1 uh, 3 minus 1 minimum of 3 minus 1 comma 4 minus 2 so the our answer will be 2 here so how we can uh, like get this like uh, how we can get the nearest greater element in the last k elements okay so if if uh, we have to figure out the nearest greater element we will do some kind of monotonic stack implementation if we uh, can take any greater element in the first k elements of, of the array we will take another uh, monotonic stack i think you all know that for one then when three comes we have to pop one like that i think you all know that but here what uh, what is different because uh, we have to uh, take the first k elements and we have to take the greater element in the latter half okay so what i have did is that if there could be another different approach also so what i have did i will show you now so uh, here i have taken prefix max of the last uh, n minus k elements of the array so what i have done is that let me clear it So uh, what I have did is that uh, let's say uh, let me take one example let's say this is 1 2 5 3 6 2 6 9 and uh, k is equals to 3 okay let's say k is equals to 3 so we have to take first k elements and we have to figure out the nearest greater element in the last five, uh, five elements okay so n is 8 and k is 3 so what I have done is that I have stored the prefix max of this uh, five elements okay so what will be this 3 prefix max 6 and prefix max of 6 comma 2 is 6 uh, this is also 6 so 6 and this is 9 so then i have did a binary search for every element of the array okay so for one i try to figure out what is the so let's say l is here and r is here okay so this array is increasing uh, not strictly increasing but increasing so i have done a binary search on this array uh, which is greater than equals to uh, 1 so I, I will go, go get this index so for 1 answer will be what uh, I think 4 if we use one best indexing okay for 2 answer will be what uh, for 2 answer will all also be 4 and for 5 answer will be what for 5 answer will be I think 5 so our answer uh, answer will be what uh, answer will be minimum of 4 minus 1 comma 4 minus 2 uh, comma 5 minus 3 so our answer is what 2 minimum of this will be 3 equals to 2 I think you got my approach what I am trying to say now uh, let me show you my code here I have did my kind of binary search thing if you fix I think you already know what I am trying to do I have already explained so if uh, our greater element there could there is a possibility if the this element is 15 there could not be any greater element so if greater element is not equals to minus 1 I will store minus 1 if there is no greater element of the current index answer equals to minimum of answer from greater i minus i so I have stored answer as n plus 5 if the answer is n plus 5 so there will be no greater element of the current index let's say take this example 11 12 and 15 so there will be no greater element of this first k in the elements in the latter n minus k elements so I will take uh, answer equals to I will initialize answer by minus 1 then and at the end I am printing the answer I hope you have got my explanation. Uh, if you understood the concept, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.